This is a Spree Model Network TV and you're watching How To Jetty Programming. Today I'm joined with James who's going to go ahead and show us a little bit more on how to program your Jetty Duplex 2.4 transmitter. Hi guys, James with Esprit Model Jetty USA and today I want to show you how you can achieve standalone telemetry with any radio system that you're using in any aircraft. Starting with a Jetty Profibox US, Jetty Receiver, uh, you can set this up in your airplane and we'll go ahead and show you from start to finish uh, what you'll need to do. You receive your Jetty box, you take it out of the nice packaging, we'll go ahead and set that packaging aside. First step is of course flip the switch to turn the main battery power on. Hit the escape key, that'll turn the unit on for you. Uh, and of course first thing you want to do is check the mode. So we're going to hit escape to go into the menu. Scroll down to setup, hit enter. Under duplex you'll hit enter again. Jetty box mode is in telemetry, uh, which is what we need it in. Uh, if you had received it and it was in monitor mode, you'll just need to switch it. So you'll hit a right arrow switch to telemetry and hit yes. So we're gonna go ahead and escape twice back to the main menu. Next thing you'll need to do is set up your receiver. Uh, unless you've already set your receiver up in telemetry mode, uh, it'll be in standard mode. So what you're gonna to need to do is connect your mail to mail servo connector between your receiver and your Profibox US. Scroll down to JI at the bottom of the screen and hit enter. That'll take you into the receiver programming. You're going to click right one time, you're going to click down to measure, you're going to click right to main setting, and you're going to scroll down to RX mode. Uh, currently it's in telemetry when you receive the receiver. Uh, it'll be in normal mode. You hold the right arrow until it changes to telemetry and you're finished. Of course the next thing that you'll need to do is bind the receiver. We've already bound this receiver, but I'll go ahead and show you the process for that. It's super simple. You're going to hit the escape key into the menu under setup again, back into duplex, scroll down to binding and click start. It'll say running. Once that's running, you can go ahead and plug in your power supply to your receiver and let that pick up the receiver there. You see it says bound and let you know it's done. Uh, once that's done, we'll go ahead and escape back out of the system. And I'd like to show you how the telemetry system works and how to add uh, and set up the display and add the sensors to the system. To do that, we're going to go ahead and use our Jetty Display Board. This is our standalone telemetry board, the one we take to all the shows, and I figured this was the easiest way to show you uh, how you set the sensors up into the system because we've already got them configured here on the board. Go ahead and turn the unit back on. Now we're going to need to rebind because we bound to the other receiver. So we're going to go through the same process we did last time to do that. We're going to go to setup, duplex, and binding. Once you click start, shows running. We'll turn the system on. Wait to hear it bind, which we did. And we'll go ahead and go back into our main menu. Now you can see we've got a blank dashboard here, or a blank desktop. None of the receivers or none of the sensors are showing up in the system. And we want to go ahead and set those up for you and show you how to do that. Uh, so what you want to do is highlight the parameter that you want to fill in. Click the enter button and it'll bring up display or equipment, which is our window setup screen. We want to choose from our list of equipment, which is your sensors and your receivers that you have in the system. Click enter and you'll see there listed everything that we've got on the system from our MaxSpec 2D to our MGPS sensor. Uh, we want to go ahead and just choose one of those. We'll go ahead and do the receiver. So you pick the piece of equipment, then it's going to give you the parameters of data that equipment gives you, which is voltage rece uh, receiver voltage, antenna strength one, extra antenna strength two. We're going to go ahead and choose voltage. Now you can choose how that's displayed, whether that's a numerical value, a bar graph, or an XY graph. And we're going to go ahead and do a numerical value. Once you click enter, you'll see that, that is immediately displayed on your Jetty Box Profi or uh, Profi Box US. Go ahead and select the next one, hit enter, go to equipment, and we'll throw in one more piece of data just to show you how that's done again. We're going to go ahead and go to latitude, hit enter. We're going to display it as a value because, of course, it's the only way to display that one. We'll hit enter, and you see once it locks in, it'll give you our latitude here at the shop. Um, now, that's how you set the 
telemetry data on the display. And of course, one of the nice things with this is there's also voice alarms. So in order to, to demo that, I'm going to go ahead and go into the main menu, go to the alarm screen. We'll go ahead and go down to sensors and give you, this is just our standard generic alarm A. We'll go ahead and hit the button so you can hear what the voice is. Low battery voltage. And you can actually scroll through and change each of those uh, to uh, to a different alarm. So we'll go ahead and on the sound you hit enter and it'll give you an entire list and the first list is in Czech, the second list is in German so you've got to keep scrolling down. Once you clear that you get into the English list. Warning. High speed. And these are all the available High alarms for the system. The other nice thing with this uh, is that while you're using it on another system you can log all of this data so you can view it of course on uh, software that's available. You can go back and review it on the, the unit, not just watching it live while it happens. So if you want to hand this to your, to your spotter and something happens in the flight and you want to go back and take a look at, and see what caused it, you can go back and, and look at the, uh, the different uh, telemetry that you were receiving and see if maybe there was a, a current spike or a temperature spike, uh, something to happen to cause the problem. But of course, that's our unit, Jetty Profi Box US, uh, in combination with all the Jetty sensors as a standalone telemetry device. And don't forget, no matter what system you're currently flying, you can add this to your arsenal to give you the, the information that you need to fly. If you have any questions or anything, reach out to us at jettyusa.com or espritmodel.com. Feel free to email us at sales at Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.